So first of all, congratulations on making such a brilliant comedy. This movie was hilarious. I'm glad you thought so. So first of all, I want to congratulate everyone on their comedic timing in this film, because it was brilliant. Mm -hmm. So uh, congratulations. <laughs> When you got cut up by those alien things, that was <laughs> hilarious. I was like, oh my god. I and I was the only one, everyone. Your pants funny <laughs> yeah. It was originally titled National Lampoon's Cloverfield <laughs> Vacation. <laughs> right. How was the banter with you and the monster off camera? Played a lot of monster Scrabble. Was a diva. Yeah, so, I mean, I, he didn't really get along with the monster. Some of us did, some of us didn't. Yeah, uh, a lot of really good. I had, trailer, though, yeah, he had a big trailer. Happened. Really, really cool stuff in his trailer. I liked him. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Well, like you. Yeah, you really liked him. Stop it. I thought he was gay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he so off very effeminate. To me. I'm I'm picturing some uh, some, or I'm thinking there's some steamy off, like there might be something in the tabloids about you and the monster then or. Look, it's, nope. it's probably going to be in the B-roll of the DVD. I tried to get it off because it's gross. It doesn't look fantastic. <laughs> it's gross. Yeah. But yeah, some, some footage was captured. And yes, I'm still sore. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Monster sex tape. <laughs> so Britney Spears and the monster go to a bar. and um, The monster yeah. would be a better parent. <laughs> I did, I went there. I actually did go there. So, back to this is a monster movie, it's pretty scary. Do you feel, yes. And we're in New York. Do you yes. feel better prepared now for a monster attack than before doing the film? Um, I just hope I'm not around when the monster comes. Um, but yeah. I, I would say yeah, that I am absolutely not prepared at all. And I, if I have my camera, I, I think I probably won't film it because that might not yeah. be the smartest thing to do. <laughs> You're going to get out of there? Yeah. Now, and as a New Yorker, I always wonder, I mean, obviously the aesthetic purposes of using New York as sure. to destroy is, you know, there's there's amazing stuff to destroy here. Yes. Why not L.A.? Mm -hmm. Can we see a sequel where L.A. gets destroyed? You want destroyed? L.A. to go down? Please. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that. We'll okay. see. Okay. In the, ne in the next one. Okay. Um, Which, what would the landmarks you want to see go? It would it would be probably be difficult to, to do the whole Walk of Fame thing. It would be difficult to do the whole Walk of Fame. But maybe a piece maybe of Maybe with it. a really big foot. Yeah. Yeah. You could do a foot imprint that destroys. Oh, absolutely! But you know, New York. I mean, it, it, it's such a part of our collective consciousness. It's a part of our national identity. Mm -hmm. And for the movie to really be a metaphor for us, in the way that Godzilla was a metaphor for Japan, you know, after the A bomb and the, the anxieties of that time, there's nothing more iconic than New York. I mean, that's really, that's really, I think, what we've all sort of been focused on for the last number of years, obviously.